I'm now live. Hi, everybody. Um, Instagram is telling me that you're telling everybody that I'm here. Okay, so MLP Starglow has joined. Welcome, MLP Starglow. You're my first and still... Oh, eh. it's hard to do this because everybody's sideways. Hi! Uh, okay, lots of people joining. Excellent. I better put on my hat. Somebody requested on Twitter that I wear this tiara from BabsCon when I did my famous cosplay. There we go. How's that? You! <laughs> you! Uh, Amy's going to be here in a second, and she's going to be monitoring uh, all the questions and comments in the in the field there. Um, let me go behind my head. What do you think? Is that better? <laughs> Is that better? I don't know. Maybe it's a beard now. I think I'll do it as my... I feel like I'm a weird unicorn elephant. What do you think? Hey, Katie Bear! Um... I have to put this to the side. I want to explain something to everybody. First of all, can you guys you guys hear me okay? There's a certain conquistador. Has a certain conquistador vibe. Jace. So, I had I had this all set up, you know. I've got like you know, I got my all my stacks of things to sign and my there's my ring light and uh, you know, the whole house and everything and I feel like I'm I've had a, a weird angle. This was all perfect, like, 15 minutes ago. And then I thought, well, I'll brew this coffee, right? So that I can have a cup of coffee, correct? And then I'll tell you what's not the correct way to uh, plunge this bottom full of coffee. The, not the correct way is to, is to take this angle and knock it completely on the side so that the entire contents of this brand new full boiling coffee goes all over my signing surface and the floor and my pants. Um, and uh, waving, I'm waving. Hello, waves, waves to people whose names are sideways and I can't quite see them. Uh, we will sort all this out as soon as Amy uh, is ready to join us. Um, Cause she's my kind of, she's my person that will help with questions, help with comments and help organize the signing, the official signings. So if you guys who are here are curious about how to get something signed. First of all, let me show you what has what is available. I have this beautiful, uh, I'm a princess, you're a princess too. Yep, 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 yep. Print that I can sign for you. I will get to how in a moment. I have this um, amazing uh, Princess Big Mac and Discord print, which we made for, um, a previous live stream before I was uh, before I played Discord. I don't know if all of you know this, but I am now the voice of Discord in Pony Life, um, which is not an easy voice for me to just get to. But I will try for right now. Just uh, well, first of all, I have to try to sound like John Delancey, and then I have to try and put something Discordy in it, and then he's a little more mischievous, and so it's something like that. But I think I have to work it always before I can just jump in. But that's diet discord, as they say. Anyway, so I have this now too. Um, third layer. I have this, which is a play on the movie Vertigo, which um, we did for BabsCon. I think it was BabsCon, they did a movie theme. And uh, so it's got, you know, I had just started playing Goldie Delicious. You've got some LPS characters there. Um, and uh, yeah, Vertigo, San Francisco. It has to be Babs Gun because it's San Francisco. Um, so if you haven't seen Hitchcock's Vertigo, that won't make any sense to you. Uh, two more, two more to show. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Again, uh, Princess Big Mac one more time. There's Mon Ban the Robot from LPS. Uh, I'm the Sunflowers here, and of course I voice Dr. Hooves. Um, I will catch up on all these comments, I promise. I just, uh, I, I'm waiting to have someone who can look at my phone uh, yeah. sideways. She's almost here. So this is my um, Dr. Hooves and I am a sunflower. Creepy sunflower. Lastly. I love you. I'm a sunflower. And there's some more of my guys. There's Igneous, Igneous Rock Pie. Uh, I don't remember what this guy sounds like, but I'm him as well. 
Uh, I no, think something like that. Well, I turned it around so that everyone can. I think that only records. Can you guys can see though, right? Wow, hi. People, I can see it and everything. Yeah, you're sideways. Yeah, am I sideways for you though? Yes. Oh, well then this won't work because this thing isn't big enough to. I'll grab the other one. Yeah, this thing isn't big enough to do the thing. Oh, is that better? <laughs> Just have to like stand like yeah, this. Stand like that the whole time. We'll fix all this stuff in a second. But anyway, this is um, so these are all the characters that I've done thank as well. Goodness thank goodness Amy's here, and thank goodness she's been here right from the start, six minutes ago. Um, so we'll fix all that too here in a minute. I'll just pause because I picked the phone up. There we go. Is that my back? Excellent. Uh, it's going to be jiggly for a second. Okay, so hi, hi. Teamwork makes the dream work. Thanks, Katie. Katie Bear. Caitlin Bearstow, Gung Ho Booking is clever. Yes, thank you. Just fix it in post. Yeah, this is post. Post is happening now. I don't think that one works either. I think they're both. Is it? Let's try it. Um. Let me just let me just see if it's big enough, tall enough to do the thing. Because I'd love to have a tripod on here. Your little iPhone tripods. It doesn't work. I mean, do it. It doesn't work. I mean, just prop it. I can fix it, please. Tomorrow Let we'll have it. all this ready to go. It's it's more ceiling than I would like in the shot, but hello. So uh, I have promised them. Yeah, let me, please let me just yeah, stop just, touching. I will. I have to hold on to the phone so that it doesn't completely disaster itself. Uh, so I, I was going through all of those um, prints that you can uh, get, and um, how you do that is you go to streamily.com, S-T-R-E-A-M-I-L-Y.com, uh, slash Peter New, and you will see all of those prints available in the store, and you can customize autographs that way, and then, uh, you know, we will figure out the next step. As soon as we figure out the tripod, then we'll figure out the remainder. Now my ring light has fallen down. <laughs> this is all excellent. Uh, so here we go. So we talked earlier about how this, I failed to do this properly last time. So now I will attempt to do this improperly this time. What do you, th what do you think? <laughs> yeah, MLP, FIM, and full uh, 1080p HD. Thanks, Caitlin, for putting that link up. That's excellent. I just a brone. I put some kind of barrier in front of it so it doesn't slide. So far, so good here, yeah? <clears throat> yep. They just want season three for Equestria Girls so badly. Hey, I want season three for Equestria. I want all the seasons. I would love for it all to keep going, but you know. So I'm going to drink out of this cup today. And uh, I will have Amy drink out of this cup. Hello, Nate from Twitter. I am a huge fan of Big Mac. Chuck E. Cheese, Illinois. It was giant. Hi, Nate from Twitter. I'm glad. Looks good. Coffee pot and all. Thank you. I'm glad we've got it figured out. Giant Queen Elizabeth coin to save the day. Excellent. Well, we've got our Commonwealth coin. Okay, so I promised everybody that you would catch me up on all the comments. Is there a way that you can do that? I appreciate you doing that. Thank you. Sure. I'm wearing my hilarious Minnesota shirt. I love this shirt. It says Minnesota at the bottom, and then Lincoln and Washington are doing a fist bump. And mm -hmm. I got it in Minnesota. And it's, that's all weird. Hi from England. Hello, England. How are you? What part of England? Maybe not this one. <laughs> I don't know. Hi from Lithuania. Wow, Lithuania. Uh, be Cousin Orchard Blossom. All right, Noble Chaos for you. I will be, God, it's been a long time since I've done that one. I will be Cousin Orchard Blossom. There she is. She lives just in this pocket right here. Here we are. Hello, Twilight Spwaku. Hello, Amy New Blue. You've joined, I see. I have. And so I appreciate it. Thank you for coming to my thing. Uh... Juju Swaggy just sent a request to be in my live video. I don't really know what that means. Awesome t-shirt. Thank you. Hi from Indonesia. Wow, the whole world is here. It's amazing. Oh, Liverpool. About 10 minutes away from Penny Lane. Is that close? 
I'm trying my best. Me, me best, me best. I'm trying my best, me best. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm basically just doing a John Lennon, a very bad John Lennon. Um, sideways, you. Yes, I was sideways. Okay, Amy's just doing this thing. We're gonna try and catch up on comments, and then we will get to proper signings. It's basically just everybody telling you how amazing you are. Oh yeah. Thank you. I am pretty amazing. Can here, can here, excellent. Sideways fine. And I think there's like a question, there's, there's like six questions in the question field at the bottom there. Yes, fancy coffee, whole pot of coffee. Okay, I <laughs> know the coffee went down. We're just, I, oh hey Drew, Drew's here. Or was here, at least at one point. Hi Drew. Is Sunil I like I like your new car. Belgique? Is Sunil related to Belgique? Yeah. Um, Bel- Belgique? Belgique? I don't really know how to say Belgique. Uh, so probably not. I asked that robot vacuum to not go. Hang on a second. It's going anyway. Why is technology, technology. so... I'm not going to read that. All right. Oh, hi, hi. Okay, amazing. I feel like we're catching almost all the way up. And then we're going to bust out the Monopoly. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Big man for life! Yeah, All right. We're about, we're, yeah. we're about ready. So first, to, the first thing I, I guess I want to do is I want to pop into my um, Streamily okay. store and see if anyone is here from there. Um, and, uh, and then we will, uh, hello, uh, wow, how do you say that? Luh, 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 oh, I miss M-O-P-F-I-M too. So can you pop in, a, can you, do you have access to my Streamly store on that or no? Do I have to use this phone? Uh, I'll get my email. Okay. We're going to figure this out. This is day one of a brand new thing that we don't really know how to do. I do remember when I came to Babs Con dressed as Big Mac. I have this here from then. Yes. Uh, and, uh... Oh, please do a Goldie Delicious. Well, it's a bit odd doing a Goldie Delicious while wearing my Princess Big Mac hat, but there you have it. Mm-hmm. I've got to... I keep leaving accidentally. Don't leave accidentally. I feel like I keep kicking everybody off accidentally when juggling my phone around and doing who knows what. Will I even go to Winnie City? Well, I would love to. If I get invited to Winnie City, I will go. I mean, the uh, Canadian border needs to open up first, but we'll we'll get there, I hope. <laughs> Who's my favorite sister, Applejack or Apple Bloom? Oh, that's so hard to choose. Come on. Okay, I see there's some questions and things down here. Boop. Tap a question to answer. Oh, that's neat. I see you. Okay. Yeah. I'm not, I don't think I'll let people go live with me. Uh, thank you for asking, though. What's up? Well, I'm doing this live stream. Which of my characters is my, is my favorite voice that I... Um, vo- my favorite character to voice. Your favorite character to voice? Yeah. I don't know. That's a really hard question. I mean, I guess... No, you know what? Actually, no. It's Big Mac. It's straight up Big Mac because he's so... Subtle and fun, and um, uh, you know, and he's part of me. I've been doing him for so long, he's part of me. <clears throat> yep, yeah, that's him, Big Mac. I have these. Look at this. Look at that beautiful pin. Uh, so, I just got this yesterday in the mail from Sophie Scruggs, who makes these, and um, uh. And uh, you can get them too. I'm not exactly sure how, but I imagine if you she find... She sells them in her Etsy. Oh, yeah. She sells them in her Etsy. She has an Etsy shop. There you go. And uh, you can get those with an, an autograph as well. Do you have a perfect Big Mac impression? Well, I, I would love to see that <laughs> sometime. I cannot go to Everfree Fest 21. I, uh, I cannot go to Everfree 2021 either. Uh, Joven Dreams has joined. Hello. All right. As soon as we get this, I have my Sharpies ready to go. I know I have a few people that have uh, pre-ordered. 
I don't know if anyone has, here has now ordered at streamily.com slash Peter New. But um, I will start signing in a minute and then we can start playing Monopolies. I'm sorry. Monopolies! Monopolies! I would love, I mean, I love Chicago. I've been to Chicago a couple of times here. It's a, it's a great town. So I'd love to go. Um, uh, x I have my big tests for school in two weeks. Uh-oh, scary. How's school been the last year for you? Um, I feel like Everfree Northwest should just wait until 22 to be in person again. Well, you know, maybe. I think they probably uh, know best as far as what they want to do, but um, hopefully... Next time in 2022, um, I'll hope I'll go maybe at BabsCon and Everfree. I'm still hoping to go to Babs uh, in 2022. I was supposed to go in 2020, and then they bumped it to 2021. Uh, <laughs> hey, Argentina. Wow. I have never been to anywhere in South America. I would love, 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 love to go down there. Um, I hope to stay safe. I just had a, a test right before joining this in chemistry. How did it go for you? Uh I yes, I do like Chicago. As a Chicago native, I'm glad that you like that I like it. It's a <laughs> it's a good town. Happy early birthday, Juju Swaggy Dude. Uh, early birthday for May thirty first. Half online, half in person school for X Taya. We're back in the building now though. That's good. That is good. Um and hello to Jojo Monroe. Hello to Jojo Monroe. Uh hey Sunil. Oh hello. Uh, I just graduated from high school. Well, congratulations from Sunil. Monopoly is banned in your house because your brother threw the board at my <laughs> mom in a rage. And Monopoly does that. We try not to take it too seriously. Anthony Balangue. Hey, bro. How do you say your last name? Is it Balangue or Balang? I don't know. I guess you'd have to spell it phonetically for me. Uh, you've never been to BrodyCon. Well, um, I think you've missed it now, alas. But hopefully there are various other Brony conventions that you can get to. Um. Do, do, do. Ten out of ten. Oh, you're doing great, apparently. Cool. I'm doing great. I just don't know how to get some things signed. I'm... We're working on it? Yeah. Okay, we're working on it. Uh, isn't Sunil a princess too? Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Peru! Oh, do you know, back in Expo 86, which was here in Vancouver, and I'm old enough to have been there, uh, I used to love going to the Peruvian pavilion because they had the most delicious food in, in the entire Expo, as far as I can tell. And it's made me always want to go to Peru because um, I want to eat that food again, and that's that. Um, Peter New, thanks for making Van Hoover. Well, I didn't... Mm, mm, did you just mean that I attended? Yes, you're welcome. I'm, I invented... I invented Van, Van Hoover! <laughs> uh, Stuart McCoy, I remember seeing me at one of the Everfree Northwest cons. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad I'm memorable enough to <laughs> have uh, made an impact. What's the funniest part I did while working on LPS? Oh, boy, that's a tough question. I did, like... I don't know if everybody knows, but I did about 70 voices on that show. Um, I think uh, I think there was a character called Mary Francis the Pig, who was a very girly looking pig who, <laughs> who spoke uh, basically like a, like a pig. <laughs> Extire graduates next year. It'll be fun. Yes, it will. Can't wait to leave the building and never go back. How is it like when I work with Ashley? Well, it's uh, always a delight to work with Ashley. She's a... a uh, you know, I look up to her. She's kind of a hero of mine in terms of the voice world. Tell Ashley Ball that I said hi. Oh, well, I, you know, I will if I remember the next time I see her, which is, you know, maybe once or twice a year. <laughs> 70, whoa. Yeah, I know. It's a, it was a lot. Did you just find out from me, Anthony, that BronyCon is gone? It was a whole big thing last year that they they were doing their last one. Two years ago now. Would I rather continue MLP or LPS? Uh, LPS for the, uh, for the opportunity to play many different characters and MLP for the, um, for the, for the fan reaction because I, I, I treasure both. I feel like I've just missed something big here that I want to look at. If you don't know Chuck E. Cheese, I do know Chuck E. Cheese. I've been often. 
would Big Mac go to Chuck E. Cheese or not? I think he would. I think he would h- hate the idea of it, and then complain while he was there, and then he would find oh, a way to like it. We actually have a funny My Little Pony Chuck E. Cheese story. Do we? Yeah, well, we went to. We oh, actually tell it. Get in. This actually, is my wife Amy. Everybody. We went to Chuck E. Cheese uh, like two years ago, and um, they would not stop playing the um, oh, right. a- Apple Family. They're the Bill Bill um, Bill Newton and. The, the Apple Parents. The right? Apple Parents song. Yeah. They just kept playing the Apple Parents yeah. song like every 15 minutes. <laughs> I think maybe somebody knew I was there. I don't know. I don't know. My favorite part of being Discord from My Little Pony. Uh, honestly, it's the, it's the challenge of trying to keep that voice as close as I can to being in uh, John Delancey's pocket. I really want to do, um, do right by his imprint as best as I can. Um but then on top of that, it's it's just so fun. You know, Big Mac is so kind of reserved and staid and focused that it's so fun to have somebody be so mischievous. Oh, you're going back. Zippity back. Okay. We're looking at older comments. I've already reacted to older comments. All right. What are you looking for? Oh, uh, uh, Comment particular comment i think you can pin um a link oh no, we'll do this we'll do this tomorrow we'll Sorry. pin the link tomorrow <laughs> with all these things over here sunil is life yes sunil is the baljeet of lps i expect that's true um do you prefer cheerily or and big mac or sugar bell and big mac sugar bell cheerily was fun but it was uh, it was not particularly. It didn't really sort of uh, speak to consent, and I it didn't. I didn't like that. You and Nicole had a what, good time. What person do you miss most about? And what do you know? What I thought you were saying, Drew? I thought you were saying, what person do you miss most? And I'm like, this is that you want me to say you, don't you? You want me to say you, don't you, Drew? What do I miss most about in person conventions? Is honestly, is the is the social aspect. Uh, you know, I miss meeting people and laughing and having fun with. Fans and uh, and friends. It's the best fan experience I've ever had. I don't know. That's a tough one. Best fan experience. In what context? I think that probably the, I'm going to say this. The best fan experience I ever had was in New York, where um, a little boy uh, who loved Big Mac uh, was so thrilled to meet me, and it's like he learned sort of to communicate uh, with his family through that character. So. Oh, it's heavy. It's, it's, oh, hey, oh, hey, hi, Heather. Um, what's this coming here? We uh, we aren't allowed to bring our own food on the last day because <laughs> someone threw pasta at the teachers. Uh, I'm going to confess something to you. When I graduated from high school, um, there was this, uh, you know, the, the air conditioning grate, and I took a block of cheese and grated the cheese on the air conditioning grate. I don't... Um, I don't condone that, obviously, but it was hilarious. Uh, hey, hi, friend. Um, what friendship could be? Um, and you also you can sign autographs whenever. I can sign autographs yeah, um, whenever. You know, like if they're here, if if they're here, I don't know, but um, if any, I don't know. If, you okay. can make a shout out to them. Well, or... um, I am supposed to do, I know I just don't have it in front of me right now, but I know I'm supposed to do a shout out to somebody. So I'll make sure I have that ready for tomorrow. Uh, and because they're allowed to ask for shout outs in the stream. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I yeah. just don't know. I don't have it off the top of my hand. So I'm going to have to write it down because I don't want to um, pounce around with my telephone. Um, what were my thoughts? Sunil, how's your best friend? Sorry. First of all, how's Vinny doing? Ah, oh, geez, I haven't. Vinny is great. Uh, I haven't talked to Kyle in a long time, but Vinny is great. My thoughts on the finale are, I thought, I, I'm i of the opinion that it was actually very well done. I really liked, I thought it was a really good um, ending and a way to sort of uh, push the idea forward into the imagination of the fandom. Um, I promise make friends. I love Big Mac because he's a helpful brother to Applejack. Well, thank you. Max, Hello. Uh, do you know anything about G5? No, not really. I mean, I, I thought Pony Life was G5, but I guess that's 
G4.5 or something. So, uh, no, I know nothing about G5 at the moment. It was a great ending. Thank you. I agree. Absolutely amazing ending. And then Save MLP says, no, it wasn't a good ending. But I also know Save MLP that you really want us to redo a bunch of things. And I, I appreciate your enthusiasm for that. I genuinely do. But it's never going to happen. Um, uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to see you at another con in the future. I have a Sunil Neville-centered book I'd like you to sign. Well, I would love to do that. And I'm, you know, I'm, I really expect that we will be going to cons again at some point in the future. I just, I'm not sure when, um, as we all figure out how to move forward. Uh, how many of you have been vaccinated? What, what houses are you in? What vaccine house are you in? I want to know everybody's vaccine house. Are you an AstraZeneca? Are you a Pfizer? Are you a Johnson and Johansson? Or are you a Hufflepuff? Are you a Hufflepuff? Um, what will Sunil say to Vinny if he's dancing Justin Bieber? I think he would say, um, you're going to have to teach me that dance, otherwise I'm going to look like a fool. Hopefully I'll get a chance to see you in another con. Yes. Yes. What's here? Do 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 Good. I think I've answered most of those questions. Oh, can I be a voice actor on My Little Pony? Not, uh... As long as we're not making it, no, because we're not making it anymore. Um, but hopefully, if we make it again, then maybe you could have to move to Vancouver and. I say you can do it. Yeah, you can I mean you can do anything you want, but you know you got to jump through all of the hoops. Uh, maybe, geez, maybe that's why I'm an almost perfect impression. Ha! <laughs> Pony life is of course G four point five. Okay. Cool. I, I didn't really know. Yeah, no, I I get confused. Because they don't, you know, it's not like they tell us. Uh, x Taya says, I thought Pony Life was G5 too, so it's not just me. That makes me feel so much better. Yeah, I, um, I'm i never certain about... <laughs> they don't come to us with like a, a series Bible at the beginning. It's like, this is Generation 5, you know. So, we don't know. Uh, so, Magda Giordano and Save MLP, uh, you know, have a nice, you guys have a chat about that off to the side. Sad Boy Jade Hufflepuff. Hello, Katie, uh, what is it? Katia Kate. I am also Moderna. Moderna. Kids don't get vaccinated in the UK, so you haven't had it yet. When do you, uh, what age do you go down to in the UK? I'm curious, because um, my 13-year-old daughter is getting her first vaccine on Thursday. We have just opened that stuff up. House of Pfizer, first shot down. Devin Kendall, you're, uh, do you mean you're unvaccinated? Get vaccinated. Get vaccinated, Devin Kendall! Besides, the show may have ended uh, by it doesn't mean the story has ended completely. The same with the LPS. Yeah, absolutely. But now the story is being told by many voices. Yes, cons will be back. Uh, John Sites and... Uh, uh oh what am I done? Oh, dear. I've, I've lost myself. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Okay, well, I'm going to have to go backwards from the bottom. Uh, I miss going to conventions, too. 34 plus in the UK for vaccine age? Really? So you can't get it? What? That's bizarre. I think you should do some international travel and see if you can get one elsewhere. <laughs> uh, hello. Thank you. I love you too. Thank you so much. JPFE Weber. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Greetings from Finland. I've always wanted to go to Finland. I don't know why, but... Just always wanted to go. Um, I hope you can be a voice actor too. You gotta give it a go. Yeah, I'll go to actually, and I'll go to any pony convention I get invited to, as far as I can tell, right now, in twenty twenty two. Not gonna lie, I liked the finale. Oops, I keep pressing the wrong button. But so many questions were left unanswered. Well, I think that was part of the point. Um. I think you, uh, it, I like endings that have unanswered questions, actually. I like, I like endings that make you have to think, endings that make you have to engage your own um, imaginations. Do you have any rare or cool talents? Okay, well, everybody, 
I'm gonna invite you all to do a thing with me, all right? So, let's see. <clears throat> like this, wrap it around, okay? Right? And then just unfold your index fingers onto your nose, like that. Let me know when you're with me. Okay? And then just undo your hands, like so, without untouching your nose. Let me know who uh, can do it and who has trouble. Do, do, do. Uh, I'm watching live from Vietnam. Wow! Vietnam. I would love to go there, too. I love traveling. That's what I miss, I think, the most of this whole uh, pandemic is travel. Uh, so I've always loved the way you did Sunil with an Indian accent. Has it been difficult to do the accent, or does, does, does Sunil have an accent? Well, I don't think Sunil thinks Sunil has an accent, and... Um, and I do want to, you know, we I got that job in 2014, and that was kind of, uh, I'd just come home from working in Kampala, Uganda, with a couple of guys from the film industry in Bombay. And so I was really trying to take the accent that they can do, and, you know, it's quite a subtle accent, and it's not it's not a crazy funny one, you know. And I wanted to put this sort of real accent onto it, because it never struck me that the accent itself should be uh, the joke. It should, you know, he should be a real guy, a real character. Um, so I don't think Sunil thinks he has an accent. But then, of course, in cartoon land, everything gets sort of blown out of proportion and goes nuts and crazy. And, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> so then it kind of went down the path of um, a white guy doing an East Indian accent. And I don't know that uh, I don't know that I would be, you know, I would continue the role if they brought that series back, but I don't think I would take that job now, right now, because I feel like there are a lot of um, a lot of other people that would be able to do a role like that, that don't have my skin tone. Uh, hello from Indonesia. Hello. Did I go here already? Hello from Equestria. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Drew, see you later. Miss you too. Life finds a way. Yes, you know, I'm going to get in a plane all by myself in a pandemic, get the vaccine and come back. Like that idea. <laughs> Boris has no idea what he's doing. Oh, I'm glad you're sensible. Um, that's true. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm, I've lost track of what... To, uh, do you think Apple Dash ended up as a couple at the end of season eight? It looks that way to me. Uh, I even have a drawing of Sunil I made. I want to give a copy to you. Oh, that's sweet. Well, what convention would that happen at? Uncoordinated. That's true. I feel very uncoordinated. We could put in Christine in MLP. What's my favorite Big Mac episode of all time? I think it's the... Um, uh, uh, I think it's the. Uh, <laughs> I didn't see it. <laughs> I think it's the uh, uh, the Orchard Blossom episode, as I think he's. I like how much he's really trying hard to um, be there for his little sister, and uh, and I like how he's willing to uh, sacrifice things and willing to. Uh, you know, I, 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 what I'm trying to get at is I like that he. I don't think he dresses up as a woman to be funny. I think he dresses up as a woman because he feels like that's the only way forward. And I really like that the community at large in Equestria just accepts him that way and says, well, we know that's Big Mac in a dress, um, but maybe Big Mac wants to wear a dress now. And they just kind of go forward with that. And I really like that. I thought it was representational. And then I really like that the end of the episode, he gets that big speech, which I think really speaks to the core of his nature. How does Big Mac uh, feel about Granny Smith dying? I imagine he's sad, sad about that, but she lived a good life. She picked a lot of apples. She bucked a lot of trees. Uh, okay, start listening we'll a bit. Uh, you heard a V8 in the background. Yeah, we live on a busy street. Sorry about that. Um, doo -doo. Oh, thank you. I love that you love both G4 and G4, 5 or G4.5 or whatever it is, because they are both wonderful in magic. Kuwait! Wow, again! Ah, oh, thank you so much for joining me from Kuwait, another place that I have never been. I've been to Dubai, which is near-ish, 
but uh, never to Kuwait. Will this live stream be saved? Uh, um, I don't know how to do that, but I will try to do that. Uh, okay, Alex, that's it. See ya. Thanks for joining. Bye. It's been a pleasure. Which is your favorite MLP ship? I think it's probably uh, Big Mac with uh, Sweetie. Oh, no, not, sugar. not Sweetie. Sugar Bell. <laughs> no. Ah! I always do that. <laughs> Uh, Brian Drummond is here. Everybody, Brian Drummond. Brian Drummond joined us. Incredibly popular Brian. We need to get Princess Celestia to run the UK. Nothing went wrong here. <laughs> yeah, nothing at all went wrong during Princess Celestia. There were never any monsters or um, anything. You're right. Uh, thank you. I'm enjoying this too. This is fun. Uh, what is Big Mac's favorite video game franchise? <laughs> I thought that said, what is favorite? What is Big Mac's favorite video game en français? I'm like, I don't know that he particularly plays French video games, but uh, <laughs> um, Big Mac's favorite video game franchise, if he had one, I think would be Frogger. Uh, my, my favorite Big Mac line is, yup. Why Frogger? <laughs> this is the only one I could think of. I was hoping no one would ask me that. Uh... <laughs> Apples to apples. Apples to apples. The video game. <laughs> I don't know yet, but I... Oh, yeah. For, I hope it's ever free Northwest. But I'm sure we'll cross paths again, Stuart, and uh, we'll make that gift of the Sunil happen. Uh, do, 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 do. Granny Smith is immortal. Well, I think probably that's true. Oh, alive! I love you, man. You're awesome. Well, I bet you. I met you at Everfree Northwest. I have no idea if you'd remember, but you signed me my drawing of Sunil as the tenth Doctor. Oh, that does kind of ring a bell. That does kind of ring a bell. Um, I just want to remind everybody that uh, this is all in aid of. You can go to streamily.com slash Peter New. Get any one of these amazing prints signed by me. Um, it's in your. It's profile. in my profile. I have others. There's several there that you can go and order and have signed, and I can sign them here in front of you. Uh, I will be back to do this again tomorrow and on Sunday at the same time. Um, I have screwed myself up here. But um, uh, is there anybody in the stream that has ordered a print right now? Let me know. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, there we are, yeah. We're that. Sweetie Mac. Death. Uh, I have not been to Guatemala. Uh, I have uh, I've been to Mexico, in many parts of the U.S. and Canada, but uh, never any further south on the North American side. I've been to uh, Uganda and to Australia, New Zealand, South Pacific, but... What if there were cars in MLP? Well, then there would be a lot more horsepower. <laughs> uh, Sunil, can you say hello? Your computer has a virus. Hello, your computer has a virus. <laughs> Here's a weird question. Which Pokemon do you think Big Mac would get along with the best? Appleton. Uh, Amy says Appleton. I was going to say Squirtle, but she's probably right. Um, Cobra Cabra and his sidekick Panda. Sunil is wonderful and also a magician. These things are correct. Uh, how do you order a print? So go to www.streamily.com slash Peter New and you will find a shop that has all these prints available and uh, ta dum ta ta. Or it's also in his Instagram bio. It's also in my Instagram bio, the link. Uh, thank you for saying that. I forget something you're whispering in my ear. I forget they can hear you. It's also in his bio. Oh, you're whispering. I'm just... I know. <laughs> just lean over. It's also in the bio. It's in your bio. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that's all right. If the money materializes, I think the shop's going to be open until June 4th. So if the money materializes before then, that's fine. Otherwise, you got a print from Michelle Creever. Well, not one of mine, I hope. I don't get the money that way. <laughs> Um, would Big Mac be interested in the Super Mario franchise? Oh, yeah. You think? I mean, 
I mean, I think he, as long as he could, as long as he could buck the rings. Could you do like what would Big Mac sound like doing a Mario impression? <laughs> <laughs> Big Mac doing a Mario impression. So it's a it's a me Mario. That's there, right? So it's a it's a me Mario. <laughs> It's, it's me, Mario. Woohoo! Woohoo! That's weird. Uh, how would Big Mac re- react to meeting Sunil? Uh, I think he would. I think he would find Sunil sort of curious, and I don't know if he would have much patience for Sunil. What is Sunil's favorite Mario game? Cart. Uh, uh, I could imagine. I think Sunil actually would love Mario Kart. Honestly, oh yeah, it's, it's, uh, he would scream and be frantic, but uh, he would he would love it. All right, I don't think there's coins, not rings. Oh, rings are Sonic. Yeah, you're right. Uh, oh, Life of Cake was great. Wasn't that fun? I loved that. Thank you so much. Uh, all right, so I'm going to take one of these vertigo prints. And I'm going to sign it like this. I'm going to say, thank you for watching. And I'm going to put my name, Peter New. And I'm going to put, yep, right at the top. Now it looks like that. And this could be yours if you go to the link in my bio, streamly.com, and uh, go ahead and order And this or any of the other designs can be yours. In the meantime, this one I'm keeping for myself. I'm going to put it out to my name. I'm going to say, Peter, Peter, I love you. (laughs) Uh, Okay. Just throw it around the floor. (laughs) Throw it on the floor where I I keep all my art. No. Can I please do my best French drag queen? Why, you know, I suppose I could do my best French drag queen. Yes, I could do my best French drag queen. I think that's sort of where that lives. A horse comes in handy when it's not staked on your windshield. I should imagine. How would Vinny, Sunil, Russell, and Zoe react if they met Justin Bieber? Um, I think they wouldn't really know who he is. Yeah, that art is amazing, right? This was um, this was done for BabsCon when they were doing a movie theme. So this is uh, a uh, this is a take on Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo in the sort of old poster style with some characters I played down here, and obviously these guys I played. Um, who, yeah, who drew it? Who drew it? Pixel Kitties. She did all of these uh, wonderful things. This one here. There's that with Discord in it, which was done even before I was Discord. Orchard Blossom over here with uh, Ign- Igneous Rock Pie. It was really fun to voice. Okay, Stuart. Boom. Love it. Thank you so much for going to get an autograph and being right back. I can't wait to see you when you get back here. BabsCon is happening soon. I know. Exciting. Who will make a perfect couple? Sunil and Pepper or Zoe Penny Ling? Uh, I don't know. I think whoever you prefer is the perfect couple for you. (laughs) Ship, Mary kill. Big Mac, Applejack, Apple Bloom. Well, hmm. Do you mean me? Who do I ship with? Because it's tough for me. Because those are both my sisters. So that's a little pretty weird. Pretty weird. I have a pretty weird question. I need you to clear up exactly who is playing here. Are you talking about the actors, or are you talking about me and those characters, or are you talking about the characters between themselves? I need to know clarity before I can answer that one. (laughs) Uh, My favorite song in LPS. uh, Either Wolfified or... um, What was it? Closer to the fire! Whatever that one was. (laughs) Just realized Apple Bloom is a child. Sorry. Actors. Uh, well, uh, I guess I'll go... Ship, Mary kill your... Ship, Mary kill my actors, friends. So, ship <laughs> myself, Ashley, and Michelle. Um, kill Ashley. I'm, no, I'm going to ship <laughs> Ashley. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to marry Big Mac and kill Michelle. <laughs> no. I guess I'd, I, I guess I'd ship 
I don't know. That's really hard. Because Michelle was a child, too, and I... Or, yeah, Michelle was... I know she's, at like, 22 now or whatever, but, like, she... I still think of her as they're all, 12. They're all babies. Yeah. What do I love about voice acting? I, I love that it's just an opportunity to be skillfully silly uh, with my friends. Uh, it's been difficult this year. <laughs> I said kill Ashley so quickly. <laughs> well, I just said kill out Ashley. Kill her. No. Well, she's with child now. She's with child So it's yeah. double murder. <laughs> Dear. Uh, <laughs> why Russell is not a humanarian? I don't know that answer to that question. I kind of remember the humanarian song. It's been a number of years. Michelle is almost 22, yeah. But I, again, like I said, I still think of her as uh, 12. Favorite MLP song? Uh, probably Apples to the Core. Imagine having friends could never. I know. I know. Friends are friends are uh, hard. Oh, look at this. Did you want more? No. <laughs> never say never. Yeah, I mean, I assume you're talking save MLP. I assume you're talking about. Um, uh, if I am getting, it's never going to get rewritten and replaced, right? Like the product that exists is going to keep, keep existing. Uh, so, you know, if, if it ever gets redone, it's going to get redone as an addendum to or a alternate, uh, an alternate universe to. But I don't think it's ever going to get recreated in a way that I understand that you want it recreated. You're never going to get the entire cast and crew to agree to redo it. Oh, well, I'm, you know, I mean, if they pay us, we'll do anything, you know. <laughs> Can I be clammed as the uh, biggest ba Big Mac fan fanboy? Yes. I, so you can hear my garbage is getting picked up right now. I, I apologize if that's interrupting everybody. Apples to the core and this day Aria are my favorite. Oh, well, you and I are going to get along just fine. Apples to the core such a good song. I know. We're all mentally kids. Sure, yeah, but, you know, <laughs> that doesn't change uh, anything. Um, and a changeling can change makes me cry. Oh, I also agree that we're all mentally kids. I feel like a mental child all the time. That doesn't mean I would date one. Sunil, can't forget my birthday on the May 31st. I know, I wished you a happy birthday already. Happy birthday to May 31st. I think I did anyway, but now I have. I'm legally a kid. Sure, well, we can be pals. Apple family, best family in MLP. 100%. I'm 15. Well, when, are, when, do, you turn, when do you turn 30? <laughs> I don't know. I'm 15. 15 is a good age. I really like being 15, actually. I don't remember much from being 15. I remember being 15. I remember being 15 as a kind of really sort of transitional point into sort of I felt like, you know, I was really an adult all of a sudden. You did say clammed instead of claimed, which I thought was entertaining. So you can definitely be clammed best MLP Big Mac fanboy. I'm going to clam you as that. <laughs> Apples forever. Apples together. Apples and so much more. For something, something, something. <laughs> Can come together. Apples to the core. Yep. Having the apple band would be so close. I want to set my brother on fire most of the time. Yeah, uh, I think... Um, it's true, I, I hear you. Um, I think that... Um, you know, I, I grew up with a sibling and we did not get along very well when we were kids. But I think there's also that sense of, like, you're definitely going to uh, stand up for your sibling if someone else comes at them. I hope that's the truth with you and your brother. Uh, you're allowed to set them on fire, but someone else can't. That's your prerogative. You'll stand with your siblings in the long run. I stand with mine now. Hey, it's Christian. Hey, Catchy Kate, welcome back. Uh, 
Stuart, what print did you uh, buy? What did you? Which one did you get? Uh, I would get a chance to see Nicole Tabitha Ashley again in the upcoming Ever Free. Yes, I am jealous that they get to go. I wish I could go. I know it's all virtual still, I think, for them. Haven't actually watched M uh, Lilith's Pet Shop yet. You know, I thought, uh, I mean, you, you don't have to go back and watch it if you don't want to, but I actually feel like it's a really underrated cartoon in the end. I think it starts off a little rough, but then by the time you get to the end of season one, season two, it's it's really fun, really funny. And uh, and I think the music is great. Well, they do some My Little Pony like, references and yeah. like, Easter eggs in the background. You're an ant? You're 15 and you're an ant already? Wow. Yeah, see, there you go. No one can hurt him except you. Right, exactly, right? So it's really not about... It's really not about whether you want to set him on fire or not. It's about whether or not you would tolerate that behavior coming from anyone else, right? Oh, I do kind of remember Delilah the Superfly Cat. MLP Star Glow has returned. x -Taya, thank you. I'm glad you love LPS. Um, you, got, you got this one. You got this one here? Were there any special requests, Stuart? I'm going to sign it right now. Any special requests? This stream is awesome. I'm glad. I've basically just been answering your questions and kind of having a yak. We're going to play Monopoly. We were going to play Monopoly. Too many fun questions. I know. It's been too much fun. My sister's 25. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's it like having a sibling that's that far apart from you? Do you are you close? Do you get along? I agree. A little pet shop is Hasbro's underrated gem. I know it says gem. I just liked. I like to make all the hard G's soft G's and all the soft G's hard G's. It's entertaining for me. That's how much of a loser I secretly am. Someone asked me if I had secret skills, and I did the whole thing with the thing. No one ever did it. Did you guys do this, or not? Because only one in four people can do that right. Everybody else does this. Oh, that's this. They do this, and then they can't. Uh, the movie one is cool, man. The movie one's super cool. Everybody's birthday is on May 31st. Happy birthday, Brody K. Daniels, 2005. Yes, there was an episode of L uh, L LPS where Blythe had an Applejack podium in a Halloween costume. It was very entertaining. Uh, happy, I don't know whether to say happy upcoming 16th birthday, x Taya, or or happy 15th from before, January 5th. Uh, I'm a good voice actor for... You're a good voice actor. Good voice actor. I'm a good voice actor for Big Mac. Uh, I love you. Thank you so much. Love you too. That's awesome. What is a very nice compliment. Uh, do you have any favorite MLP characters like female ponies after Big Mac? Um, hmm. Do you, uh, I mean, do you want, do you want me to have... Do you want Big Mac to have girlfriends? Maybe he's secretly still like looking. Like your favorite ponies? Yeah. I mean, Dr. Hooves. You like Dr. Hooves? Oh, well, yeah, I am. Oh, uh, you mean like he's asking about girl ponies? Yeah, I think they're asking if, 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 I'm not totally sure. Yeah, I think it's, who's your, who's your favorite girl pony that's after Big Mac? I, I, uh, I think all the girls should be after Big Mac, honestly. He's the king. Uh, am I ever going to visit England? Well, I have been three times to England. I was I was there as a teenager, and then I was there after Galicon in 2013, and uh, popped. Uh, we were there for. We went to uh, Amy and I went to Manchester for uh, Buckcon a few years ago as well. So London a few times, up to Edinburgh once, and uh, into Manchester that once. So. Uh, Sunil, okay, Sunil and Big Mac's iconic catchphrases. Uh, Sunil screams, so I'm just gonna go, ah! For Sunil, and then he's like, e he's hanging off a bridge, right? So I think he's gonna say, uh, e uh, mm, nope. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, I'm glad you get along great with your sister. See, there you go. I was trying to find a Smarty Pants doll. I couldn't oh. find any of the Smarty Pants dolls. What's happened to all the Smarty Pants dolls? You have like five Smarty Pants dolls. I don't, I don't know where they are. I thought there was like two right there. The Biscuit Twins' mother. She's addicted to Mary Poppins and The Sound of Music. Oh, yeah. It's almost the first anniversary of me becoming a brony. Oh, congratulations. Have you seen all, all of it in that one year? Tasha's 25, Callum's 18, you're 15, Kenzie is 7, and your niece is 4. Wow, that's a, I mean, I think it's really nice to have such a big family. Um, is it Callum that you want to burn alive? Because uh, Callum at 18 sounds like he's probably the right age to be an annoying boy. Stuart McCoy, happy uh, July birthday. Mine is in October. Most of the time I voice Big Mac, that's true, but I made a pretty good job with voicing Discord too. Thank you very much. I am pleased to hear you say that because that was kind of nerve wracking for me to voice because John Delancey is big, big shoes to fill. Uh, thank you very much. Love you as a voice actor. Love Big Macintosh. Awesome. I should probably get Big Mac voice lessons. Well, you know, you can, we can have a Zoom sesh sometime if you want and I'll teach you how to do it. Um, are you going to have Keith Gordon in My Little Pony? Uh, n n no, because it's over. This ends at 12 because I sadly have to leave. Uh, you know, I was thinking it would go for an hour, but I, I, I also didn't expect to have so much so many people with so many questions and the hour has already gone by super fast. So uh, I'll probably let it breeze over the uh, 12 o'clock mark here. In a... <laughs> Big Mac is the ultimate Chad gets all the mirrors. I want a t-shirt that says that. Chad Horsley. Yeah, Chad Horsley. Big Mac, I'm the ultimate ch Chad. It's hard to go like, e Chad. E Chad. Chad. <laughs> Chad. Chad. It's like almost like a sneeze. Yeah. Chad. <laughs> uh, Town, best episode. Um, Callum is the one I want to burn. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, he'll he'll be fine in a couple more years. Nice. I'm glad you uh, own some uh, of the LPSs and everything. What love song will Sunil sing to Pepper? Uh, I think it's probably going to go. Pepper, 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 I really love you. You're a skunk and I'm a mongoose, but maybe we two can go down to the track and bet on the horses. Down to the track. I love it. I love it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe that one. Uh, is it true that they were going to hire David Tennant for Doctor Who's? I, I think if I know the story correctly that they were hoping to. I know he was here in town uh, shooting a TV show. And I think they reached out to him. But I don't know for what for what reason it, it didn't work. Um, I know that they, you know, they reached out to him quite late in the game. And were recording the episode, uh, with, which is an episode I was already in. And uh, so they had me lay down the Doctor Who's track as a temp track initially, because they were still hoping to get him, as far as I know. And I don't know if it's that he said no, or if it's that they just decided they really liked my performance well enough, or I don't know what the machinations there are. But I'm quite delighted that it turned out with me. Sorry, David Tennant. Uh, I have not heard of Sawtooth Waves. Thank you. Uh, I wanted to thank you, says It's Christian 18. I wanted to thank you for your work as Big Mac. It really helped my sister up uh, until age five. She hated speaking. Yeah, she said at least uh, one or two each day. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so sweet. I, I get really overwhelmed with stories like that. Like I... You know, I just showed up to do a, a a dumb cartoon, you know, and and then to to hear all of these stories of how much we've helped people and how much we've helped kids and how much my character has helped kids, how much my work has helped, you know, I, I I'm I don't even know what to say to that. That's amazing. Uh, 
why did My Little Pony end? Uh, is that supposed to be end? Um, I think, you know, nine years is a really long time to run a cartoon. Most cartoons are one or two. Uh, so, yeah, you meant end. Uh, so, I don't... I, I think it had run its course. I also... My my personal speculation is that sometimes... I know there were some hacks. Uh, season 8, season 9, I think there were some hacks into the... into private emails between executives and I think maybe that helped to sway them to say why don't we just shut this down um that's my suspicion but uh don't quote me on that even though I'm saying it live to the internet don't don't quote me I don't know anything about that for real uh ah, that was great hey it was fun to see you again gotta head on all right bye Bye. How did you feel about Big Mac and Sugar Bell? I loved it. Becoming an official couple. LOL. I am um, probably going to repeat anything Peter says as Big Mac for free voice lessons. Sure. Ignore house. Uh, hey, Shadow Luigi. Thank you for joining. I think we're probably going to wrap up here pretty shortly, but welcome for the few minutes you're here. Sunil, can you say sheesh? Yes. Uh, I'm going to go with yours was really good because you were amazing. All right. I love it. Thank you so much. Made a phone wallpaper of Sunil. Awesome. Ashley did great as Rainbow Dash. That is the truth. Nine years is a good run. It is a, you know, honestly, like as a cartoon voice actor, like you're happy to get six episodes of something and to have a nine year run of something is incredible. Uh, all good things must come to an end, but we'll still hold on to friendship is magic. I hope so. I mean, and that's really the lesson of the of the final episode. Is one of the reasons I like it so much is that it it really does say, look, you know, friendship is really the key. You know, it's really what you need to hold on to. I've really been wrestling with that too throughout the pandemic as well. I've been wrestling with the whole notion of like how how hard it's been to not be able to see my friends as much as I might like. And, um, you know, your, your friends provide you joy. They provide you a support network. They provide you a, a mental health. You know, you need it. You need people. Cartoons never die! Say, as Big Mac, say, Hello, my little pog champs. Hello, my little pog champs. <laughs> I'll tell, you, I'll tell you later. Pog champs. Is that like pogs? No. Oh. Is something dirty? No. Okay, good. Before you go, I think I'll come up with a line for you to say. Please do. If you were to voice a Pokemon, who would it be? Probably Snorlax, don't you think? Uh, I agree. My Little Pony gave me unrealistic expectations for friends. All my friends are mean. Oh, no! No! I hope that's not really true. That's Taya. If your friends are mean, that's not, they're not good friends. Find new ones. Uh, okay, awesome, awesome. Thanks and thanks. You know what? Uh, I think that's gonna do it. How about that? Oh, here we go, one thing. Chuck E. Cheese Illinois says, I like Chuck E. Cheese's. I think it's a great franchise with games and pizza and animatronics. Animatronics. I love Chuck E. Cheese. I oh, love gosh. animatronics. Yeah, you do. Except you're afraid of them. I'm afraid and fascinated. I would have an <laughs> entire... You'd have a room in the house that you would never go into. Oh, yeah. Chuck E. Cheese, Illinois. We would have so much to talk about. I love... Join. I love it. Daphne, I'm so happy you're here, but I was really literally just about to wrap things up. Uh, what is Chuck E. Cheese? Oh, oh, it's Taya. Okay. Showbiz Pizza. Showbiz Pizza. Chuck E. Cheese is a uh, pizza restaurant uh, which is helmed by a, an animatronic mouse named Charles Entertainment Cheese, uh, which basically you go and order a bunch of pizza and then you uh, are also surrounded by video games and you play the video games and get the tickets and then trade the tickets in for little prizes. And then when I was a kid anyway, periodically... A, a band of animatronics would come out. Here they are. And um, and they would sing dumb little songs. And uh, 
you know, now I think it's mostly video or whatever. But the last time we were there, they, they literally had like... Um, they just had like, the mouth. They had like a 15-year-old boy in a Chuck E. Cheese costume going like... Yeah, like that. So, have I been to Crystal Lake? No. I don't know where that is. So that's where Jason is. Jason, oh. <laughs> yes, I am Jason. Um, oh no, animatronic head came off. Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, it is fun. Chuck E. Cheese is fun. Okay. Um, what do you think? It's up to you. It's up to me. Mm. Well, I think I'll wrap this up, guys, but I'm back again tomorrow, 11 a.m. I'll have the streamily more organized for tomorrow, and uh, I, I can do some more of these kinds of signings and things, and we'll, um, we'll get that. We'll get that organized. Maybe we'll even get to the MLP Monopoly that we promised to play on the internet and then we never got to because it's been so much fun. But I really, really appreciate all you guys showing up today. It's been super fun. Uh, I have been to Chicago, Illinois. Yes, a couple of times. Good stuff. I did sketch comedy there once. Um, happy My Little Pony birthday on Monday. Bye-bye. Thank you. This stream was fun. Thank you so much. We'll do this again tomorrow. Um, Juju's out. Peace, Juju. Woo! Talk to you later, Starglow. Monopoly is evil anyway. Yeah, I know, it's weird. Isn't my little pony Monopoly is like the weirdest thing? But yeah. Bye, X-Ties. Nice chatting to you. Friendship is capitalism. Friendship is capitalism. <laughs> Friendship is money. <laughs> X-Ties is bye. bye. See you later, Sankry. Bye. Bye, bye. Okay, I'm going to just call, I'm going to end it. Bye. Say goodbye as Big Mac. Okay, this will be the last thing that I do. I will say goodbye as Big Mac. Um, he'll go like this. He'll go, bye now. Bye now. There you go, like that. Okay, bye now. Adios. 67 minutes. Wow. I don't even know how to stop this now. So now you're going to get like me going like, ah. And now.